Hello, I'm Alan Pelt Sharp from the advisory firm Deep Analysis. And in this short video, we're going to provide some practical advice on the implementation and consideration of AI. You may have been involved in IT projects for years and like many assume that AI is just another application to build and design, implement and deploy. But implementing and using AI is very different to traditional IT projects and it requires a different mindset and approach. So here are a few tips and thoughts to getting AI right in your organization. Number one, you don't need an army of PhDs. There's no question that it can be hard to find machine learning experts and data scientists. But a common misconception is that AI projects are led and staffed by a small army of PhD type people. This is simply not the case. You do need some of those skills for sure. But what you really need to leverage are your business insights and awareness. You need business analysts, a project manager. You need data analysts and some legal input. Most of the work of even the most specialist AI people is not focused on writing and tweaking complex algorithms and models. It's spent preparing, labeling, and cleaning data. Your business analysts don't need advanced math skills. They need to understand your business processes and figure out how it can be improved with AI. Remember, most people are not building an AI system from scratch. They're building something that is already built and optimizing it for their particular needs. AI offers fantastic opportunities for traditional IT and business folk to get involved and to lead the way. Number two, AI projects are all about continuous learning. Maybe the biggest misunderstanding regarding AI projects is that once they go live and into production, you walk away and the system does all its amazing work for you. And that's not really true. You will continue to monitor and optimize the system over time. You'll feed it new data and you'll improve it. In fact, AI has a very different life cycle to traditional business applications. One that takes you through training, testing, modeling, experimenting and creating. And that's a good thing, as your AI will provide you with insights for further business improvements and it needs your love and attention to continue to improve and its good work. So you need a plan, staff and budget accordingly. Go live and into production. That's just the start of your fascinating AI journey. Number three, AI increases in value over time. We often find in our advisory work that many people underestimate or misunderstand the value that AI can bring to your organization. Many people are now adopting AI and more still are running pilot programs. In most cases, these are not massive digital transformations. Rather, they're small, pragmatic projects that target specific areas that can benefit from more automation and insight, be that to improve sales or productivity. And whilst it's true that AI can deliver a positive return on your investment quickly, it's better than that. But whereas many traditional IT applications deprecate in performance and value over time until they're eventually replaced or removed, AI does the exact opposite. It gets better and better and better over time. AI actually grows in value over time. So plan for that in your business case. Get started early and AI could be one of the best investments your business will ever make. So what's the key takeaway? Well, don't be scared if you hear the term AI. You don't need to be a math wizard. You can start small and you should start early. AI won't totally transform your organization overnight, nor will it take it over. You're the one in charge, and when AI is focused on resolving your business problems, it can bring not just a short-term fix, but continue to deliver more and more value over time.